Here's what he did, a simple exercise, but boy, does it tell a lot. He asked, how much has the median income of an American family changed over the last 30 years, counting from 1987 to 2017? A, a nice period of 30 years we can look at. And he said, I want to see how much income, the 50% middle of the American distribution of income, how has it changed over those 30 years? And here's what he found. When you adjust for inflation, in other words, you adjust for the fact that prices went up, the median income in an American family went up 14% in 30 years. That's less than one half of 1% of a real increase on average, for an American family. In other words, very little at all. And then he said, I'm going to look at three specific other things that American families have to pay for to see what happened to them because it'll give us an insight. And here's what he found, and I'm going to give you the exact numbers. Housing prices, one of the most important things anybody spends money on, over the same 30 years, 1987 to 2017, went up, ready, adjusted for inflation, that taking account of rising general prices, it went up, ready, not 14%, that's what people's income went up, 290%. That's right, tripled. So the cost of housing has taken a bigger and bigger chunk out of Americans' income. They're still living in the same place. They're sleeping there and eating there. But the amount of their income they have to spend to be able to do those things has dramatically increased. Then he looked at public, public four-year colleges. They're cheaper in general than private. How far did they go up over the same 30-year period adjusting for inflation? And here's what he found that those kinds of uh, costs went up 311%. They went up even faster than housing. So if you want to live somewhere and you want your kids to go to college, oh boy, have you had to cut back on other things to pay for those things. And finally, he looked at per-person health care expenditures, and they went up 51% compared to the income that went up 14%. In other words, those three things, housing, college education, and personal health care, really took more and more out of people, leaving less and less for everything else. And that's the reality that people have lived in the United States. And why? Because our economic system doesn't produce housing at a rate that will allow people to live in a home without being gouged this way. And what about college? Because our system doesn't provide the funding for four-year public colleges that it used to provide. More and more of the payment for that education has to come out of the family sending their children to school. And in healthcare, well, we talk about that all the time, the medical industrial complex jacking up the prices of your drugs, of your hospital stay, of your doctor, of your medical insurance. And then you can see the squeezing of the American family as these three messed up parts of our economy eat up more of the real income Americans have. It is something to understand how this system gets down low into the individual lives we all lead to cause us the pain and the difficulty that's showing up in such anger in our culture these days.